This morning we went to the dollar store and I grabbed a pool noodle. Why? Oh, just wait. Wait for this genius that I thought of for organizing some pool supplies that is, is like clutter in my backyard right now. And it's been driving me crazy since we opened the pool and blew those floaties back up. I'm making a home for the pool fluties. Fluties? Pool floaties were chosen. Hello, good morning, I need more coffee. We're making a home for the pool floaties that we're choosing to keep. Let's do it. All right, we're out here in my backyard and I'm gonna show you da -da -da -da, the pool floaties. Okay, just sitting back there in the dirt pile or they make their way and float around in the pool. Mind you, it is really actually only like 10 o'clock in the morning and the kids are have already been in the pool and get up. So anyway, here I have bamboo sticks that I use in my garden. Bamboo sticks that I use in my garden. You can see there my cucumbers. I'm like Harry Potter right now with my wand. Look, this guy, my cucumbers are trellised with three bamboo sticks. My blackberry plant back there has one. My tomato plants over here have some. We bought them last year. Hi, Range. He loves to lay in the sun. Him and my daughter. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. You could probably already figure it out. My dollar store solution for pool floaties. spot that's not annoying for Andy to get around with the weed whacker. Like if you take the floaties off, it's right up against the edge where he just weed whacks anyway, or edges. So hopefully that won't be annoying. I'm pretty excited <laughs> about my dollar store organization for things that were in the yard just annoying me. This, of course, I mean, the kids were out here yesterday, so oh, I'll fix it. Everything in its place. The doggy's gonna stay outside for a while and dry. We just broke the, st the stick off the top. So where my finger tip is, that's where the stick ends. A couple days ago, I shared my messy home. This is a few days later. We of course have done a few clutter resets where you just put everything away. Uh, tidy resets, we call them. Uh, this is just today's mess behind me. Anyway. I want to talk today about a video that I've done in the past. Three everyday habits of minimalism. Now that I'm like nearly three years into this, three things that I do regularly every day. Regular decluttering, number one. Um, I'll link the video I've done in the past as well as a blog post below. However, they are number one, regular decluttering. I'm always just keeping an eye out for anything that I can live without. Number two is finding a home for everything that I've chosen to keep. When it has a home, when it has a home, it's really easy to put away. When it doesn't have a home, it instantly becomes clutter, usually on my kitchen counter. Number three, choosing to actively live with less, choosing minimalism. Yes, I'm a minimalist. 
yes, it's much easier for me now and far more natural for me to be a minimalist as opposed to a couple years ago, but I still have to actively choose less. I have a pair of black flip-flops that I have to work so hard to keep on my feet when I'm walking that I get shin pain. <laughs> So they're, they're really not a great choice for my feet anymore. Flip-flops aren't a great choice for your feet to begin with. Anyway, it's time for them to go into the garbage. And I immediately went into my phone, into my Amazon app, like, okay, I'll get another pair of flip-flops. Replace the ones I'm about to throw away. And I stopped myself like, Wait, I already have a second pair of flip-flops that I bought when we went RVing last summer. <laughs> I had broken my toe and I needed a pair of flip-flops to get around. I haven't been wearing those. I've been wearing the ones I'm throwing away. I already had a pair of a backup flip-flops that I wasn't even wearing. I can do without an extra set of flip-flops, but I actively chose less. I actively chose not to shop. And it reminded me of when I talked about that in the past. Okay, these are the ones that I have to work really hard to the point of shin pain to keep on my feet when I'm walking. Pretty sure my backups, yep. Here's my backups. So there's two steps to decluttering. I've decided to get rid of these. Step one, making the decision. And then step two is to actually remove it from your home. So I'm gonna put them in the trash. And then when the trash goes out, they'll get removed. I got these from Target, Colorado. We're heading out to get my kid from summer camp, so I'm going to I'm gonna take this box of books on this errand with us. This is part of the declutter. I've donated now more than half into that bin, and I, I stack the next box, and I just take one box at a time, one day at a time. The books going in the bin. You're doing great. Push it in. And now a couple weeks out, I hesitated with this one. I just held it in my hands like, oh, we really love this one. I really love this one. The kids have never read it, <laughs> which is the whole point of this book. And I still kept like, what, six or seven solar system books? So even now, weeks after the decision, getting it out of the house, I'm still second guessing myself. But once I thought it through and named the problem, I'm afraid they're gonna like it. What if the kids wanna read this? They're not going to. They have six other choices for the solar system. Another child who needs a one book on a solar system is gonna get this guy from discoverbooks.com. Their entire premise is literacy for kids in um, school districts that can't afford books. So I'm gonna, I'm, I feel good about it. All right, let's roll. Now, right when we get home, this is trash. Uh, I fill it right back up so that the next time we head out the door, I can just grab it. I make it easy on myself. I make it easy on my future self to do this. Well, these go in there. Why do you know how oh, I guess? Ready for the next run. Do you know how I get speed? How do you get speed? I pick up it. You pick up? You pick up speed as you go? You get faster? Yeah. Oh. Nope, I lost him. <laughs> When all of these shoes are put away in the basket for mommy. I knew what you were going You knew what I was going to say. Well, how am I finishing my sentence? When all of the shoes are put away. What? There's only less shoes left. Yeah. Mommy, those are supposed to be in your room right now. They are supposed to be in my room right now. Okay, I had to put my hair up. There's laundry on the bed from this morning that I need to fold and put away. That's what you see there. And the doggy on the floor. Of course, he follows me everywhere I go. He follow me off the ends of the earth. Not a bad thing in a dog. Not a bad quality in a dog. I digress. There is a blog post below for the best decluttering books that I could find <laughs> to help get you started decluttering or just help motivate you, provide some momentum if you're into reading. I've left that blog post below. Hope this video gave you a little bit of inspiration or an idea on a, something that you could live without 
some, some habits that you could develop, regular decluttering, finding a home for things like pool floaties, and actively choosing minimalism, actively choosing to live with less, like one less set of flip flops. It's all these little micro decisions that accumulate and add up as the years go on to living with less. That was an oxymoron, adding up to living with less. I'm very chatty today. I'm gonna let you go. Have a wonderful day.